What's up guys, this is the Roseman and I am back to bring you an hour special of Napoleon Total War Let's of my Napoleon Total War Let's Play as Great Britain. So to run off where we left off, a Austrian stack has made it behind our lines, is attacking the weak force garrisoning Munich. But we have while we do have a, a fairly naff force, they have um, no infantry, no artillery, so we may have a chance to hold them off, but I doubt it. Let's fight. There are plenty to recapture Munich, so it's not really a concern. Uh, ooh, no. I was about to say, should I deploy outwards? But no, there's no absolutely no value in deploying outside. Um, so yes, we do have the opportunity to recapture Munich. Like this is more of a this is more of a frustration than a than a real concern, I suppose. Okay, so let's put... Let's put a fencibles. Put a fencibles there, put my Connaught Rangers there. And my fencibles there and there. Let's make sure my fencibles and my armed citizenry have guard mode on so they don't chase them down the wall. Okay, let's Setting get to it. To fire at will when a fort, what? Sure that they <laughs> so, n normally the game sets you up facing towards the enemy. This is a bit odd. It's not the end of the world. We will redeploy before they get within range. Um, but it would have been nice. Okay, mate. Yeah. So everyone make ready. I don't foresee this as being a, a good win for us, but it actually would be a fun siege. Because we've not done many siege sieges in Napoleon. They've always been more conventional more conventional battles. Which, while they're fun in their own way, I do quite like good old conventional siege. Come on, turn so fire it off and turn it on again because they're not firing their muskets. Which are, by a country mile, their most useful assets. <laughs> I do like how they refer to themselves as peasantry. Success or not in this venture very much depends on making them route before they get to our lines. As soon as they start to get around the flank and get a foothold, things don't get dicey per se. But they certainly get a bit trickier. If you can make them route, that would be perfect. I mean, target. Attack the land there. It's nice of them. These, I think the fusiliers are coming back. These are a concern, I won't lie. They're only light foot, but. Absolutely mob them as they come up the steps. Okay, 
attack the militia as they form up. Oh, they're routing, that's nice. No, guard mode's turned on, so you shouldn't. I know our general's under attack. Hopefully he's under attack. He's up against a really good unit. I hope he's under attack. To be honest, as much as I would very much like to move some guys up to actually support. Okay. You abandon this combat, you have to get stuck into everyone. Because these guys need to go over here to support my infantry unit over here. Okay, you get up ready here and fight them. You guys. To be honest, you guys need to form up here as well again and continue shooting. These guys can advance along. See, this is where the trouble begins. Good, so let's run around. So let's keep one of my foot garrison units running this way. These guys could kill these militia units, that'd be great, because then I could, I could effectively that free up. If you could make this landwehr unit go away, that'd be great. I need to go this way to support Fusiliers. telling everyone that Jesus but yeah it's probably gonna be done because they've got they've got enough troops to attack us in so many positions at once but it will make for a fun siege when we inevitably capture the city back yeah so they've they've captured this gatehouse so they could yeah, they're already moving in the general staff. <laughs> so I've lost all of my entire units. Fight on. My general with his guard unit. There he is. It's my, my captain. Do as much damage as you can. But yeah, these guys are probably just going to run in and. They're probably going to run in and capture the central point. Yep, the fence balls are, are running. fighting to the last. My general's unit's being left to fight alone. 
He's running for it. The only unit left standing is the defensible unit. He's gone too. And the Austrians pour into the fort. Valiant defeat? Well, sort of was. It was going well for a minute. No price is too great to preserve the health of the fleet. So it's helpful that they're not deciding to push on. It's also nice that Blucher is moving east. It's annoying that there's an arm, there's a stack behind us. Hmm. Might need to do, might need to do some careful redeployment. Um, some some stacks leaking behind the front line is almost inevitable. Like it's really hard to have to have a completely solid front line. Come on, Belgium. Get into the action. They seem to just like... They just want to run around Benelux with their army. Not to contribute, the swines. For a minute there, I thought Portugal was going to betray us. Region lost, Bavaria. Let's make this chap go immediately, put it under siege. Immediately under siege. Hold on to it for now. Bob Crawford's going to be here to support the drive against Budapest. You're still getting ready. You're still getting ready. You're still getting ready. I might deploy you here to try intercept them if they try and move down here. Good, so Danzig's fortified. So there is an army down here. So I don't know if I want to move that way. Uh, I think I'll just rely on this army being built to... I'll deploy them to... Ooh. Oh, I must have lost a fusilier unit somewhere. I'll use this army to redeploy to fill up any gaps. Lots of recruitment in England. Corland, the garrison is being built. My navy's being built. We're being expanded. So where is he? There he is. Can I repair you in here? Oh, it's because it's been raided. My mistake. Let's upgrade this. Yeah, that'd be plenty of garrison. Um, okay, so I think our next step is to immediately attack the fort to take it back. No demands. The fort will be retaken. And that's all there is to it. A great country cannot wage a little war. You kind of can. Well, I suppose it's all relative, I suppose. Okay. Let's drop, let's deploy. Ooh, yes, lovely, lovely, lovely. Um, so let's have some guys ready to cover the... to attack any gaps. Let's put five units of foot over here in this little defilade. And let's put five over here, slightly behind this ridge. General staff in the middle. A glorious victory, sir, is soon to be yours. Be honest, make all of you direct fire on the howitzers in the centre. I want to see what damage these guys can do. My artillery's barrage firing against the bastion. Okay. So some misses of hitting the wall instead. Sir! Sir! 
Our general is under attack. Okay, let's change our target. Target this section. Okay, this guy's proper spread eagle. No, they're not as effective. Just attack them normally, I think. Significantly slower to make a breach as well. Even with good artillery. To be honest, actually, what are these? They're only nines, so they're not twelves. And the howitzers don't really do anything. Except scratch the paint. Man, this is gonna this is gonna take a while, isn't it, to put a hole to put a hole into the wall. Rapid firing, I suppose. Because they're not even. I don't even get the. I don't even get the feeling that actually spending that much effort specifically trying to target this section of the wall. Maybe they are, but the damage, the damage is just really bad. Turbo horses are too many. Da, da, da. I mean, damn. Okay. Well, in which case, then I'm probably gonna. Start moving up my assault divisions. But even then, I don't want to assault. Don't want to move them up too much. Militia. To be honest, I may as well make them attack the centre, because these these are this artillery it doesn't seem to be doing anything on the walls. Absolutely triple speed. God, it's it's been an awful long time, and they're only at eighteen percent. And the houses don't do anything really. Okay, guys. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to chop the recording here, and I'm going to bring guys back when we have our breach, because I don't want to send my guys up against. Um, Austrian infantry with no without a definite way in so I'm going to chop the recording here and I'll bring you guys back when we have a breach so see you in a sec you know what guys I think if I wait for a breach I won't have enough time to win because we're only at 35% that's a quarter of the battle gone so rather than wait for too long um, we're going to have to move up without a breach because this artillery is awful apparently So this could go horribly wrong. Because the artillery seems to spend half its time deciding who it wants to pick and who it doesn't. So I don't really want to hit. These guys need to run. Because there are no real good spots where I can get, like, I might be able to get a lot of troops there and a lot of troops there. But it's going to be a real grind. Eh, yeah. poor old, poor old Hazar. Uh... 
because lots of these fusiliers will even the numbers up when the units get into combat. So let's... Well, let's pelt, pelt men at walls, I suppose. Can't... Can't run up. Yep. Foot units are getting absolutely wrecked. So this could go horribly wrong. So let's speed up time a little bit. Yep, because it's starting to charge out the charge out the gates. So you abandon charge up the walls. So you can form square as the sacrificial lamb. Let's get this regiment up on this wall. Get this regiment up on this wall. Let's get my skirmishes up as well. Because this is going to be a right mess. I expect lots of my troops are probably going to rout before they get up on the wall. They're running before they even got to the walls. All because my artillery just artillery just doesn't work. up on the walls. I don't stop climbing up the walls, Jesus. The only thing that's keeping you alive is the fact that you're running up there. You guys need to charge into the back of these German fusiliers. The fact that these guys have been left alone isn't so bad. Which ones are running? Yeah, they were dropping in. They were being they were being moved in alone, so I can't really blame them. You guys have spazzed out. Aren't attacking anyone. Even after all this time, it's only 36%. So this is our strongest quarter, but I suspect we really need to push our advantage. Our men are running for us. Of course they are running. Yeah, this is an absolute cluster. Abs yeah, this is an absolute cluster. So, I'm just going to do this, because that's just... There was no way that was... Utterly sucks. 20 minutes. 35%. I literally could not knock down the walls with the guns I had. Yeah, you know what, General? You deserve to die. <laughs> that was terrible. That was terrible, terrible, terrible. So I think my next plan is going to be to use this guy to put them under siege and then just wait them out. 
I am not attacking another fort again, because that was abysmal. Sieges are really, really bad, especially with 9 pounders, and that's the biggest artillery I get. So unless I stack up with loads of artillery, um, I'm not really going to do that. I'll try and move these guys up as a garrison for Tyrol in case they go for it. But yeah, that was that was appalling. Good job wasn't my, one of my good generals. It's funny how it made my general die, even though he was actually safe. But oh well. Let's hit then turn and let things carry on. But yeah, that was. I am yeah, I am not going to attack a big city. No way. I am just going to sit there. Uh, what a resolve. I mean, you can keep chasing after me if you like, but it's not going to... Yeah, it's, you've killed my stack, but... Oh, they have managed to just eke around. That's fair enough. So let's get the Prussians out of my territory. Good job I didn't attack somewhere like Königsberg. Jeesh. So I think I'm just going to plonk that army outside and then just besiege it. Let them come at me, and that's going to be my that's going to be my Napoleon total war strategy as <laughs> Great Britain. Anyway, yeesh, I'm not going to try doing that again. I mean, that's the thing with Empire. At least you know, with semi decent artillery, you make reasonably quick pro progress. It knocking down. Oh, I see a Russian navy. They're they're at war with the French, so they might be going to go kill Bonaparte. Good. Move out of the way. Russian army. Well, just means I get to recruit another army. And I'm really good job on recruiting that one in Britain, really. It is tempting to sail him around through to the Dardanelles and then hit the uh, Romania region. But... Belgium swanning around like it's a real country doing real things you're not being helpful Sweden not Sweden, Belgium at least the Portuguese are finally on the march yep, army destroyed but William de Dornberg has already slaughtered a bunch of Austrians so he's going to sit here and wait take advances across the board and I'm probably just going to let them let them carry on I suppose Spy network established by Percival Slaughter. Good stuff. Traits gained. Plus one subterfuge for James Robertson. Felix Wheaton also gets local contacts plus two subterfuge. Good. And our network in Budapest has also been established. The call and garrison still being recruited, and so is the army in England. Ooh, let's. Okay, so. Let's get. Just make sure there's no other cool units. Pretty sure everyone's everyone's either used or normal. Okay, so I want to get a unit of dragoons. No wait. Okay, so let's pull one of your dragoons out and recruit horse guards because I don't want too many elite units in one army. Because otherwise, it makes everyone else boring. So getting a horse guard, uh, a. Uh, it is horse guards. And we need four units of foot. One, two, three, four. And preemptively, enlist the general. Let's get Brent Spence. George Brent Spence or Charles Colville? Charles Colville, actually. He looks pretty cool. Plus one command, plus one morale, plus one command, plus two morale, plus three. Actually, Brent Spencer, the, the buffs on him are great. Let's go for Brent Spencer. Let's get him up to Granville Tresidern. Good. Then he can start recruiting. Uh, the lifeguards. You can get two lifeguards. He might get two lifeguards then. In which case then Dragoons, you can go out somewhere else. And I'll also get James Colville. And he can get... You can get Dragoon Guard, the 10th Sars, and a unit of Light Dragoons. Let's not get obsessed of trying to max out all my recruitment from places. 
especially if most of my recruitment can only be from London. To, to be honest, infantry can always be is always needed. We'll always need about nine infantry at least, so I can try and recruit that from anywhere on the island. Except now I think it's maxed out. So that's Edinburgh's recruitment pool also used up. Cardiff, can you recruit? Nope, you just fencibles. Yes, Heidelberg, you may as well become a members club. So upgrade Stuttgart. Okay, so let's pick up King of Saxony. Join war against Prussia, and I'll give you far in advance. I own you, damn it. Fair enough, I'll let you carry on your silly games. Let's drive up on the West Bank. As they've already slipped through, I may as well just push up into better territory in Poland. Let's move this guy. He's not fully replenished, but he's near enough. He can push on to Lemberg. He'll, be, he'll make it next turn. Your replenishment's going okay. You need... I'd probably like to get you a howitzer. Take you two turns. I don't know where I'm recruiting it from. Vienna, probably? Yes. Then when he gets his when he gets his artillery, he'll move on to Zagreb. Um, William Wickham. Where were you going again? Oh, you're going to Klausenberg. I'm sending a spy all the way to Moscow, aren't I? At least that was the intention. Um, let's upgrade this trading port and I can also rebuild the navy. Good. So let's hit and turn. Because soon I will have to declare war against Russia. Preferably not until I've knocked out the Austrians, but you know how these things get. So the Austrians are I've still got that army near Breslau to fill up any gaps. Ah, there's the other Prussian stack I was concerned about. They were hiding in the woods. There they are. They broke up into three. Do I force them to attack? I think I do. As I've got this opportunity, let's force them to do battle. Um, because I'm not in a position to capture the city. Depends how many casualties we take. But I would like the opportunity to not lose too many men <laughs> so I can move on to the capital. Oh, these are lovely little defensive position as well. Let's put our artillery up. One set of artillery up on this hill. Let's put the Highland foot in the centre. Let's put a unit of guns down here. Let's probably knock back this unit of Highland foot just a little bit. Three. Unit of King's German Legion. This is my right flank facing their cavalry. Think about the Viennese troops and the light. The light's on the inside. Well, the light, good. The light is on the outside. So, let's just put our light and heavy cavalry together on the left. Heavy cavalry on the right. So, John Moore in the centre. Let's do battle. Because you, my fellows, must advance, especially as you've got six pounders. So I'm going to want my artillery, you to be barraging, and you to be barraging. Be 
to speed up time a little bit. I, wanna, I wanted to hopefully knock out some of these six pounders. Fortunately, we can only have a morale victory. But they're firing against our line. We've knocked out one of their gun teams. To be honest, it looks like this flank was is very optimistic. So let's do this and drive up my cavalry flank. To be honest, the other flank's probably going to be the same. So then let's move up my cavalry. To be honest, I expect my cavalry are going to end up flanking around. So these light dragoons and light kind of German legion dragoons push up to the road. You guys push up to this set of these cops of trees, in which case then let's retarget my artillery into their infantry. Good lads. These elite cavalrymen. Actually, the light foot going to advance up to the crest of the hill. Let's change their vector so they've got. They have their two units of cavalry and their. Oh, that's it actually. Well, two units of cavalry and their general. Their lancers may be seeking war. Let's run up this regiment of foot because the our left, our right flank, their left flank has finally entered combat. These are elite foot regiments, not easily cowed, especially the 23rd. But it's the cavalry I want to watch. Light dragoons into the cavalry, the heavy dragoons into their into their cavalry. light dragoons into their artillery more like these guys are going absolutely mental they can keep up with the horses apparently you guys go into the lancers good so we're knocking back so we want our dragoons to sandwich their lancers Good stuff. While our light dragoons have lots of tremendous fun. Yeah, don't go crazy and follow them. I want to attack their guns, mainly. If cavalry was forever defeated, that would not be my objective. I 
though the cavalry is reluctant to do battle. Especially once we get past the last point, our King's German Legion Dragoons will not put up with their nonsense. Actually, my Light Dragoons, I want you get over here. You start chopping up some of these units that are dead close to running away. Sir, sir. Our general is under attack. He's not general really, stopped. though, is he? Well, actually, he might be. <laughs> As I was watching him, thinking, oh, he's not going to die. A bunch load more of them <laughs> died. Okay, charge into them, my dragoons to try and make them rout. You chase after that gun team. This dragoon unit hold your position. Chase down the enemy musketeers. You hit that unit of lancers. You're chasing down the gunners, on, are you not? Run into the first regiment of foot, Swiss line infantry. Charge into this unit of Swiss grenadiers. Confident. Steady. I was hoping you would shake. You go after that unit of musketeers. Don't concern yourself with these grenadiers. Damn, run straight into the middle of the maelstrom. You may as well enjoy the lance a little bit more. You go on into the musketeers and leave the Swiss lines behind. And form square quickly. Goddamn lancers, they never want to engage on my terms, that's just not fair. sideways into them. Charge straight on into them. want to bump into us then we will kill them. It's the enemy general killed. Let's halt the artillery. Let's bring in Sir John Moore. Musket unit is shattered. Smash straight into that unit of Swiss Lion infantry. Bring my light dragoons over. You may kill some of them, but you won't kill enough. Good. 
and let's go a bit faster with it now. Let's charge this cavalry straight into this. Oh, and John Moore's in there too. Inspire and rally. See, our general's being kick ass. He shouldn't, asterisk, die to that. No. Good stuff. Sir, your general has been killed. <laughs> <laughs> As soon as I say that, he dies. Oh, poor John Moore. He's been here since the start. He did really good. Ah, oh, on this, on that. Let's no, let's continue it for the sake of John and everything he died for. Ah, <laughs> I, I tell you what, I've got some sort of curse. Because when as soon as I say something won't happen, it just happens. It just does. I don't know if you got killed by either that unit turning around and shooting at them, or by. Well, no, that unit was broken, so I don't see how he could have died. At least it's historically accurate, because Sir John Moore did die in the Peninsula Wars, I believe. It is a black day. <laughs> See what I saw? I was like, oh, the men of fatigue God. are a must Damn it. rest a while. Well, that's not keeping the casualties on the field. How odd. Decisive victory, but at what cost, Napoleon? A very black day indeed. And Let's have a look at statistics. John Moore. Got up to high experience and then carked it. King's German Legion Dragoons. God, they've not got many left. 39 men. Yeah. Ooh, and they're also selling out of Königsberg. Awesome. Let's do it. Let him who desires peace from prepare to war. Sorry, Balthazar, you're about to get a nine pounder cannon at your backside. And there's not a thing you can do about it. What are the odds on Michael Stowell dying? Ooh, because we get defensive stuff. Mm, no, there aren't really any good positions for artillery. Maybe something like maybe something like this. Two, three, four units. Now here, light foot can place mines, but I'd rather have cavalry spikes. Then let's put you guys out on the flank behind cover. You behind. Oh no, wait, you were already deployed. You were over here. Then let's match their cavalry. Let's put our Dragoon Guards and King's German Legion Light on this flank. Light Dragoons on the left. Marcus Stahl in the centre. And how it's is placed at each edge to support to provide local artillery support. And then let's get cracking. These guys are all deployed. But I'm more than happy 
So let's march into my gunfire. So all these dragoons. They're dragoons, but they're all they're guard dragoons. So I do have a cavalry cavalry um, deficiency on this flank, but it looks like it will soon be superiority. To be honest, as I advance more into Europe, I would probably need to have more more heavy cavalry as a matter of course rather than relying on light cavalry because on this flank what is it lancers yeah well that's not so much of a problem oh. they're getting targeted by my artillery the cavalry just got hidden for a second in the center Howitzers are firing as well onto them. I think they dismounted for a second, so they're going to continue firing at them. These guys are firing at this cavalry unit because the AI has a habit of beelining towards the artillery. Some grenadiers. The artillery's falling back. The cavalry's falling back, I should say. So that's being. God, this, this cavalry has been chopped almost in, in half. God, artillery is so good in this game. But yeah, got it on. Uh, triple speed, just to speed it up somewhat. Otherwise, it would take way too long. So we've got a landfair garrison. Lots of grenadiers on this flank. Wait a minute, who are you? East Prussian Grenadier Battalion. The plumes look different. Because these are just musketeers. The yeah, Grenadiers just have like a normal shako with a black plume. These guys have the uniforms look blue. They've got some, they've got like a grey cross belt, what like a grey cover. Some of them do, and a white plume. Yeah, I think that's it. They look like more, more battle hardened, I suppose. Artillery is dropping in because we're not. No, we're not at. Okay, let's move my cavalry out to the flank. Their artillery's opened up. The trenches aren't doing a whole lot of good, but again, my guys are getting hit in the face by Prussian cannonballs, all of them, and they just don't care. I mean, I guess it's the. Def it's not defence, the chance of getting hit one in melee. What's going on, Sarge? He says. God, again, look! Just cannonballs just gone straight through. Hit them all, and they've all just gone, Jesus Christ! <laughs> Damn, if that's what elite infantry does for you, then. Yeesh. Nice. They're beginning to curl this flank in, so I will match them and advance slightly. My cavalry might come around the flank. A weakened unit of dragoons and horse guards. I think I might send them to flank around and hit the guns.
Not a canister range yet, but they will be. Mm, lots of loose shells coming in. Wow. My guys still do not give a single solitary crap about Prussian artillery. It's just more funny than anything. I mean, look how look how many of these guys should be dead. Okay. Let's run the 33rd Regiment of Foot. A sharp battalion he's in India. No, he's in Europe. Killing Germans. Poor old armed citizenry, you guys didn't really have a chance. If you didn't pick up arms, you'd have lived very, very happily under the British rule. Um, I'll just let my artillery fire at whoever it wants. I think the grenadiers know what I'm on about. <laughs> These Prussian Grenadier Battalions spotted what I want to do. So this is light foot, so they're accurate, but they're not powerful, so I might have to do some specific targeting with this set of halluses. I go for the general, but it would leave me open to counter charges. So let's just get my cavalry in against their artillery. Force him to come to me if he wants to do anything about it. Guys, fire a round shot, and then start to advance infantry up in front of them because they're on a slight rise. These are light dragoons versus dragoons, so I don't necessarily fancy my chances, but they're routing. So attack them again to kill them very, very quickly and easily. Send one unit onwards to hit the other unit of artillery. You continue attacking the Dragoons. Just don't let them escape. Okay, let's just curl up, curl up the flank. Barrage canny stirring, because holy moly, that's a lot of chaps. So our dragoons should beat our their dragoons, because we have dragoon guards. I'm not so bothered about wiping them all out. Okay, let's pull units across. Wow, that's a lot of routing Prussians. Pounce is coming in. Canister shot coming in. Just siding through them. You go after the East Prussian Grenadier Battalion. Because that's a lot of routing Prussians that would be nice to kill. But... Mm. 
Yes, I would be shaken. Come on, break, please. Come on, Light Dragoons, get in there and help them out. Coverage riding in and mowing them down. Dragoons coming back. Yep, there they are. So let's get these light dragoons in to help. A against this infantry and then also later against these dragoons. So they are picking off my light dragoons. These guys are going to have a bit of a shock. Buddies arrive. Them ride straight on and hit their dragoons. Turn off a lot of my artillery. Continue. Something to continue skirmishing. Let's go after their general staff. Let's turn off all my artillery. The general's bodyguard was the last remaining unit. They've now routed. Delicious stuff. So could have done a lot to mow them down, but to be honest, destroy all of their units immediately. Um, I'm much more open to letting some of them escape because right now I lost 400 men. That's it. They've got 300 remaining to garrison their entire their Konigsberg. Next turn, it'll be an auto resolve capture, and then we can start replenishing. So I am just waiting on the Russians. At least Courland is has got artillery and a decent garrison in it now. Yep, yeah, so their army was sailing around to hit the last French army. It'd be hilarious <laughs> if the French pushed them back. Don't worry, Russia. You will be... You'll have your time soon. To be honest, if Saxony wants Munich, Saxony can have Munich. If they attack it, I'll attack it in support of them, yeah, sure. Oh, they're a naturally occurring these Bless in this Bless Okay, so let's get you down to this center bit here. Move them to Lemberg. The army that was formerly that of Sir John Moore. Uh, maintain for now. The army that was formerly that of Sir John Moore. One more turn. So you shall fall back for a turn to get reinforcements. James Inglis Hamilton, um, you start to move up to threaten Warsaw now. I don't want to move up to trigger me to cross a river. I don't want to do that. Let's take Konigsberg. Demand their surrender. Well, I say demand their surrender. I mean, obviously, I'm not just going to let them live. <laughs> yeah. Got him. Because you push on to Vilnius. So it's tempting to do diplomacy. Major nations, Kingdom of Prussia, they hate me a lot. Quest peace. No, I want them to come my protectorate. Can I not do that? 
training with Austria and that's it. If I knock them out of Warsaw I might try and make peace because they've just got they'll just have these two regions and then I will hopefully have all of these. You're waiting on artillery. You're gonna move out to provoke them. And you will be supported by George Thomas Beresford. And you get back to garrison Austria in case the, Aust the Russians fancy their chances at being a bit sneaky. And to be honest, it probably could do with getting a bit more. Good. So yeah, if Saxony want to take the city, or if Belgium wanted to take the city, I'd, I'd more than happy let them have it. Broke death, Sir John Moore. It's my first proper general death, I think. Lots of troops in Scotland. Lots of sh lots of ships being recruited. Elliot Minchin. That's my spy there. East Prussia is ours. Henry Paget. You can move over here to threaten um, Blücher and Hubert Romberg and then Danzig you're probably going to recruit some fencibles because they're probably going to do something annoying like run around run around up through here and do some shenanigans either that or I just effectively move up Ooh, let's get, I can't get a general here that's the problem isn't it let's move you up to Stettin and then progressively get ready to move you up to fill up this gap. Wells is in position. Michael Stowell. It's got plaudits for attacking Konigsberg. Let's upgrade and upgrade. Um, I'm over my limit, but I'm going to hit end turn one more time to see if anything kicks off. It's my recruitment being done in London. Oh, I forgot to. Yes! <laughs> Surprise! The French destroyed the Russians, uh, absolutely destroyed them. Mm, the Austrians are pulling units back. Mm, they're recruiting an army, probably to head up towards Lemberg. Oh, damn! It was a bit. Mm. If I was a bit closer, I might be able to have triggered a a river battle. Yep, so there's an army in the trees there, so must not forget about them. And Russians moving lots of troops northward. I suppose those stacks I'm recruiting in. Norway would probably be good to build up as a secondary fleet because I've got my main battle fleet but I do want to have more more fleets yeah you go back Russia after you absolutely stacked it against the French hmm, here come their spies to try and steal my research oh come on Saxony attack the city, do it or well, Belgium attack the city. If Belgium wants to attack the city, they are more than welcome. Mm -mm. Tilsit. It's been a raid. So let's move. I can move you to here without snagging any problems. That means I'll catch people heading east and west. Why are you not replenishing it at all? But let's get a new general. Your new general is Frederick Adam, Master Gunner, Confident General. Four star. It's not bad. Let's bring this chap down to the river. Recruitment report. Lots of troops in Scotland and West Prussia. Cool. So John Stuart Army, John Stuart's army has been has been built. So let's build a. So 
something cheap. Merchantman to ferry them to theatre. Marcus Morgan's a, he's been doing good in Bucharest. Spy network established in Galicia. General available Frederick Adam, we've already got him. Across the river. Yes. Attack the city from the rear. Upgrade this to a small arms factory. Uh, infrastructure. Good infrastructure. Good. The artillery is moving up to Alexander Abercrombie. They siege to Zagreb. For now. Cavalry Aloha Kleist. Um, I don't have enough, I don't have more than enough troops to threaten Warsaw, so we saw an army move out from these trees. Go on. Oh, 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 oh. Oh. Good job I sent Brunswick as ahead. Auto resolve. Killed 168 of theirs. But we drew them out. And now we can attack them. But looking at the timer, that, that is the end of this part. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time for the next episode of my Great Britain Let's Play. Cheers.